Hey, man, what it is, man. You know what it is, man. It's the TV Guide. I guess that's how you would pronounce it. Not like TV Guide, duh, but like the TV Guide. So, anyway, it's the fucking bad, man. You know what it is. So, you know, after the first episode, you know how to clap back with living single. You know I had to. Let's get into this sexy-ass cast of black excellence. Okay, we got Kyle on the left. He from Cleveland, Ohio. Shouts out, Ohio. You know that's the double O rapping. You know what I'm saying? Kyle got like a bougie accent for some reason. I ain't never heard of nigga from Ohio talk like that. I guess I talk like that. I don't know. But uh, he was like the uh, the original voice of the God of War. Kratos, motherfucker, in case you didn't know that. Uh, Kyle is a young professional. I think he's a lawyer or some shit. He do good. He got he got big money. He be, he be fly. Uh, he, he like real suave and shit sometimes. Uh, him and Maxine be flirting aggressively. Uh, you'll see that later. Uh, Maxine, her sexy ass. Maxine Shaw, attorney at law. She's a lawyer, young professional woman. Know her shit. Her sexy ass, chocolate ass. You heard me. Uh, Regine, she the bougie. Uh, she uh, Khadija's friend. Khadija is Queen Latifah for the main character. Uh, so Regine, she grew up, I think, with uh, Khadija. You know what I'm saying? She bougie as hell. They lay together with uh, Sinclair. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Khadija, she the. Uh, <laughs> So, growing up watching the show, my mama used to always have this thing where she'd say, like, Queen Latifah, no, she don't like no man. You know what I'm saying? Like, everyone, oh, yeah, she a lesbian or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I always thought it was kind of forced of her acting like she liked dick or whatever. I don't know. It's cool. Uh, she the young professional black woman. She be running her business and shit. I like that it focuses on her business and not just like, oh, yeah, we make money and we just hang out. <clears throat> friends you know what i'm saying uh sinclair her sexy ass she like a uh she like the the like you know the stupid character the dunce you know what i'm saying you always gotta have one of those she worked for khadijah she's uh khadijah's cousin you know what i'm saying she be she be failing a lot uh i just don't think they'd be on the same type of time as sinclair uh overton he also from cleveland him and kyle grew up together in ohio he a country boy, though. I don't know too many country motherfuckers in Ohio, but, you know, they exist. Uh, he a handyman. He real prude. He don't like to put his business out there. He real shy. He cool, though. He remind me of me. So I ain't never really been a big fan of Queen Latifah's rapping, but this is definitely one of her best songs, and this is one of the most iconic theme songs of all motherfucking time. So let's get into this whack ass theme song that they had before they really had the idea. The show is called My Girls, and thus they use My Girl, but what's that, The Temptations? I only accept this song in the form of the Skyline jingle. It says, Natty, I got Skyline. A little quick fun fact I picked up a few years ago looking at the pilot, they used the Family Matters set. A lot of people like to liken the show to Friends because of the concept of his multiple friends and they hang out in New York and shit. But honestly, if you ask me, it's a lot closer to the Golden Girls than it is to Friends. Like, they're just sexual women, you know, living their lives and shit. This, this scene, it shows you everything about the show. Eggplant. Eggplant. I ain't never really get into the show all the way until I was like a grown man already, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I guess I couldn't understand that they were digmatized and how much they say they hate men, but then they work for the male gaze. It's real funny and ironic. Now, Ray Jean's sexy ass, I don't know why she can't be alone, but she cannot be alone. She always on the date. She always fucking or something. I don't mind it. She a free woman in the 90s. It's her body, her life, her decision, her uterus, you know what I'm saying? But she be fucking the dude from Juice on the roof and shit. That shit crazy. So when Ray Jean is not being a sexy ass, bad ass bitch on a date or getting fucked or something like that, she always like beefing with Max. I guess like Max is like uh, Khadijah's newer best friend while 
uh, regime goes back in the past, you know what I'm saying? So I'm guessing that, like, you know, oh, I've been here, you know what I'm saying? Who is you, bitch? You know what I'm saying? I get it, you know what I mean? They always going back and forth. Like, regime get this videotape. She want to watch it with her friends, but then Maxine, she decides she want to ruin the ending for niggas. You are a virus with braids. <laughs> With the weave. So Maxine like to fake the funk, like she don't like dudes or nothing, but she real good at acting. She really be wanting that dick though. You know what I'm saying? You see it. You know what I'm saying? Like her and Kyle be exchanging insults like Martin and Pam. It's less racist and less hurtful though. He'll come at her hairstyle or nothing. He'll call her an animal. I, I mean, I think he did a couple times, but like, you know, he he just understood the game. He knew she wanted him. You know what I mean? I love this black love. Her breath looked like it smelled like cocoa butter in the morning. Hell yeah. The flip side, we got Overton and Sinclair. They always it's kind of been like a little a little flirty you know what i'm saying but they so awkward and you know what i'm saying and i really i really like this dynamic i like this character writing because it's not that instant sexy instant chemistry you know what i'm saying everyone's suave everyone's just like overtly sexy for their own good and it hurts you know what i'm saying these are just regular looking people you know what i'm saying they're still sexy though but you know what i mean that they just they just came together they found each other and all that good shit man it's a beautiful time man i like that it's not toxic it's not like you know some kind of weird you know, stereotypical dynamic between them. It's healthy love. Shouts out black love. Let's go over to Khadijah. So Khadijah, she's like the main character. She be uh, running the newspaper, uh, magazine, Flavor magazine. You know, it's an urban, informative joint. You know what I'm saying? And from time to time, she goes on dates. You know what I mean? So going back into the thing of what my mom be saying, you know, used to say, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, Queen Latifah got a real, like, masculine, feminine energy, you know what I'm saying? She's still the queen. I still love her and respect her, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, come on, you can't go out on a date with me. Come on, put your strap on and let's go and run a train on these hoes. Come on, let's say you and me. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that was probably wrong. I should probably cut that out, but I'm not. What I really like about the show is how it shows the entrepreneurial journey and it doesn't hold any punches. It doesn't make it look like Queen Latifah, I mean, Khadijah is just like living her best life. She's struggling like a real job, you know what I'm saying? But they're all there for each other. Like in a pilot episode where Ray Jean, she's dating a married man. Sinclair meets the man's wife and then she tells the girls, the girls be like, oh girl, we got to tell you. She's all like, no, no, he's going to divorce her. He's going to leave her for me. Because she's just materialistic. She looking for a meal ticket. You know what I'm saying? You know how it go. Queen Latifah is always the mother. She's always like stepping in and giving the wisdom. Like, hey, bitch, stop giving that pussy away so much. Hey, 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 you need to show some fight. Look at her sexy ass. Oh my God. But yeah, man, this is always, it's always good, wholesome morals and stuff it's beautiful man i love black relationships they really don't make them like this no more now this is probably the only show ever that i resonate with every single main character like there's shows where i love all the characters but like they're all like a reflection of me in some somehow some way you know what i'm saying like uh regine she's real materialistic you know what i'm saying she fly as fuck you know what i'm saying she's sexy you know what i'm saying i'll fly as fuck i'm sexy uh kyle he he stops at nothing you know he's a young black brother you know on a mission uh you know maxine she don't bend for nobody except for kyle you know what i'm saying or uh uh, Greg, she was all been out of the shape over, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Overton, he real passionate, you know what I'm saying? Nobody care about what he care about. Uh, that's my life. Uh, Sinclair got that childish innocence, you know, to her, but she's funny, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Khadijah, she's just like the mama, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, the struggling entrepreneur, I relate to that, you know what I'm saying? And then when all her friends are broken or whatever, she picks them right back up, even if she's suffering, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm glad that she got the happy ending she deserved, you know what I'm saying? Regardless if we think she's straight or not, she deserved this ending. She out here fucking Lamar from BMF. Oh my god. Am I too late for my New Year's kiss? <laughs> I thought you in Rio. A little unscheduled stopover. It's cost me 600 bucks, so this kiss better be good. Oh, well, I can cover it on mine. Right. Mm. 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 <laughs> oh, woo! That was a convincing kiss a little bit. Yeah, if she kissed me like that, yeah, it might go down. Don't get the strap. Girl, what you doing? I'm going to Rio with you. Man, don't nothing get me worse than to close the door, open it back just so I could turn off the lights and say goodbye to the set ass outro for a show, man. I cry every single time, straight up. Real niggas cry, bro. Shut the fuck up.
So I can see how people be like, oh yeah, friends stole it, you know what I mean? And then it's justified, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a motley crew of different friends living in, the New, in New York, single. And some of them date, and sometimes they break up and shit like that, and they're all friends regardless, you know what I mean? But it's like, I think it's uniquely its own show. I don't think friends stole it. I mean, maybe the, the concept, friends, you know what I'm saying? Some friends together in New York, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, they're really different shows. There's no similar humor, you know what I mean? I think I think Living Single is more iconic than Friends. I just think Friends is funny while people don't, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Living Single is its own class of black excellence. We need more shows like this. They really don't make them like this no more. They don't got no more sexy 90s icons. They all BBL'd up on Instagram and shit. Hey, man, shouts out to the golden era, man. You want some more of these? Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that. You know what I mean? Peace. It's the Batman. You know what it is.